Hey there, welcome, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Today I'm going to be listening to some more Shoya with their song Fire, and this will be live, and I believe this was from 2015. Um, this was requested by Paul Pablo Anderson. Um, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to watch this. I absolutely love this band. I've, I've seen a couple of their songs, or their, a couple of their songs, one from way back and one from um, not so way back, but still older. Um, they are so good. This, this band is fantastic. I can't believe I had never heard of them before. They've been around for so long and have absolutely just amazing music. So I'm really excited for this. I've been looking forward to, to, more show, to reacting to more show yet. So this band is just fantastic. Um, real quick, I do um, have a Patreon. The link will be down, down in the description. Um, most of my reactions go up there at least a day in advance. If you join the Blades too, you get two Patreon shout out requests every month, no matter what it is, how crazy or obscure you think it is. If you love it, I want to see it. Um, if you want to just help out a little bit with the $1 tier, you do get a Patreon shout out request just for um, joining. Um, if you want to donate a little bit more directly, I do have my PayPal and my Cash App down in the description, or you can use a super thanks to YouTube. Any help y'all can give me right now, it, it's definitely helpful, it, it, it's needed, and I really appreciate any support y'all can give me. Um, but anyways, I'm excited for this. This is, like I said, I, I can't believe I've missed out on this band for this long, because these ladies are unbelievably good. They're so fun to watch, too. So here we go with Show Ya Fire. main riff that's such a great riff um god these ladies are so good i can I, give me a good view of them there we go um really enjoying the song they they are just fantastic um kiko the kiko um has a fantastic voice i, I, I love i love her voice it, it has a quality to it it's not strain but there's this little under chord when she sings that almost feels like she's struggling, but it's not a struggle. It's uh, it's just this this element in her voice that I, I think um, kind of singles her out from a lot of the other singers I've heard. Very unique. I, um, I, I would recognize her voice in a heartbeat just because of that little, like I said, it's not really a strain. But it's there's this like almost like a false chord sound going on uh, underneath her main her regular voice, and I mean she's been doing it for years. It, it was there in that in the song that I did from them from you know the '80s. So I mean it's it's always been there, and it hasn't. It's not because her voice is in you know 
damage. It's just an element to her voice that kind of just makes her unique. Her voice is very unique. I'm digging the drums in this. Um, uh, Mitan is the drummer. Is she's just such a badass drummer. She she's I, I love her drumming. The guitars. The, everybody in this band is just fantastic. I really like this band. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling there a little too much about her voice, but there's something about her voice that just, I love it, but there's something like almost, I, I don't know, it's just it's very unique. I, I really dig her voice. Such a great main riff. Captain. Ooh, dirty. Wait, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of that keyboard section with cat. Um, it's I, I'm assuming it's her, her nickname, Miki Captain um, Nakamura. Um, she's such a she's she's always fun to watch. She's always and this part, this keyboard part right here is almost classical in the way she's dressed. Um, just it just felt very classical. Let me know. Um, I saw over on the other side of the stage. There's a guy over there also playing keyboards um, as a support. Um, let me know his name. I like to know everybody, all the musicians, even the support musicians, because they deserve um, recognition as well. Um, but um, Captain, I feel weird calling her Captain. But anyway. Um, Captain is just killing it on the keyboards. Um, and then the guitar came in. What's the, the guitar? I'm still getting their names right. Sungo, the guitarist. It, that is such a dirty, cool sound and riff that she came in there with. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, great solo by Sungo. Um, 
she's a badass. That that was a very the the end of that solo where it would like she played, then the band's hit mate did like two or three hits, then she played a little higher, three hits, higher, three hits. That was a very um gosh. I'm trying to think of a band that does stuff like that. It was a very eighties feel. Um this band I don't know when this what period of their um catalog this song's from, but it feels very vintage, very eighties but it's got a modern tint, even though it's you know this this was recorded almost ten years ago. Um, it still has almost a it's like a cool mix between you know old eighties and newer stuff, and I really dig that. Um, bass player Satomi is killing it too. I don't want to miss out on um, pointing her out. She is she's a great bass player, and she is I, I love her bass tone it's so good. Wait, hold on, I wanted to back it up to this section where she's like, it's like the ascending section. It just has this great old, old school 80s feel to it. Right here. Very cool. Very cool. Really like that. Um, so that was Show Ya with Fire. Um, great song. I think I, there toward the end, I, I think I kind of zoned in on her voice. I, I'm sorry, I'm, and I'm not a voice coach. I don't know any of the even remotely technical issues uh, or involved in singing. I have a horrible singing voice, um, but for some reason I was just zoning in on her voice. That quality, I think it's because she's very breathy. She, even when she's belting out, she's got a lot of breathiness to her, to her voice. I think that's that uniqueness that I'm, I'm catching. Um, again, I'm, I'm not in any way an authority on, vo on voices at all, but I just know what I like, and I like her voice, and it's got, it's got that little, that little twinge to it, that breathy twinge to it. I, I'm digging. Um, really enjoyed this. These, these ladies are just fantastic. I, I love that they're still just killing it. Um, let me hear something brand new, as new as I can get, performance-wise. The, the song doesn't need to be brand new, but. Get me something from, I think they were just involved in that show in Japan that sh they actually, I think they sponsor it, where they bring in a lot of the, um, all, you know, female um, bands that are, you know, currently going, going crazy. A lot of those bands I love. Um, did they play at that show? Is there any video of it? Is there anything good from the last couple of years? I'd love to see their current, how they're, performing currently because this one's almost 10 years old um but i want to see something really new as new as i can get so please let me know anything current i want to hear how they how they're sounding today i would love it um if you guys like this video give a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i will talk to you next time